हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज प्रोफेसर ए सी जाधव डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर के के वा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नासिक अंडर द कोर्स ऑफ हॉट थ्री फाइव फोर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द पैकेज ऑफ प्रैक्टिस फॉर ग्रोइंग द सिट्रोनेला सिट्रोनेला व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ द एरोमेटिक प्लांट नेक्स्ट टू द लेमन ग्रास गाइज दिस वीडियो इज ओनली फॉर द एजुकेशनल पर्पज एंड नॉट फॉर एनी ऑफ द कमर्शियल यूज सिट्रोनेला it has a rich fresh and uplifting type of the scent similar to that of the lemon which fragrance glass has uh, on a name citronella from the french word meaning the lemon balm citronella is uh, uh, commonly mistaken for the lemon grass as they share a similar appearance growth processing method however the two plants are considered to be as cousins as they simply belong to the same plant family the symbopogon family which is commonly referred to as simply a lemon grass the easiest way to tell them apart to be a remember that the lemon grass has off white pseudo stem while those of the citronella plant has a reddish in color type of the stem citronella or the citronella grass in which the two common type of the species are uh, uh, cultivated uh, under commercial cultivation first one is a java citronella means simpopogon winterianus and second one that is the ceylon citronella means the simpopogon nardus java type was uh, found to be a best source of citronella oil and uh, its cultivation has uh, now become a popular also the crop is uh, extensively cultivated in uh, assam particularly in a tea garden west bengal uttar pradesh maharashtra gujarat northeastern state karnataka tamil nadu on an area of 6000 to 10 10000 uh, hectare and when we are mainly concerned with the annual uh, indian production of the citronella grass it is near about or more than the 300 to 350 tons the main origin of this grass is considered no uh, sri sri lanka or the seol uh, silon also it comes under the family that is the gramini and the plant part which are used as a leaves so citronella uh, used for uh, various purposes just like um, it is used or a citronella oil is a starting material for the production of the geraniol or citronellol and this is the main uh, use of the citronella grass uh, these are again used in a perfume and soap or a cosmetic industry too it is again used for the preparation of the detergent household clear uh, cleansers or insecticide and polishers and for the many uses then uh, also due to the um, properties of the medicines uh, it has used in a pharmaceutical industry too then uh, again um it is used uh, in a uh, food industry as a flavoring uh, agent and uh, in this way it is used for the flavoring industry then it is used uh, as a ingredient in a deodorant then in a mosquito repellent cream and uh, applied product uh, products we uh, prepared the agarbatti then this type of the coils and the liquid uh, which uh, helpful for preparation of or the a uh, uses of mosquito repellent this is again the best use of the citronella and uh, when we are consider the citronella uh, as a spent grass it used for preparing the paper and also for the fuel then uh, regarding the soil requirement for uh, this uh, citronella the humus uh, rich uh, well drain then uh, sandy loam uh, type of the soil is considered to be the best one we should have the good water holding capacity and the good drainage so in this way sandy loam uh, having the ph of 5.5 uh, or the 5 to 7.5 uh, is considered to be the good for cultivation of the citronella grass then regarding the climatic conditions uh, it require the humid climate with the warm temperatures and uh, abundant sunlight well distributed rainfall all these are considered to be the good for obtaining the good oil uh, extraction from the citronella 
then uh, abundant sunlight well distributed rainfall of 200 to 250 centimeter with the relative humidity of 75 to 90 percent is considered to be the good um, thrive well under the tropical and subtropical condition long drought spell or the excessive rainfall or harmful and susceptible to the frost under the shade growth is a poor leaf blade become a hard and yield is a less uh, grow well in the plains and the hills up to the 900 meters above uh, the sea level and the best elevation is 180 to 250 meters above the uh, main sea level then the improved variety which are identified in this crop that is the R L L J O R 31917 um, oil uh, recovery in this uh, case is 76.2 uh, percent of the citronol and also the 28.5 percent of the giranol uh, it is uh, released uh, from the Johar uh, research station of the Assam then second one and that is uh, I W uh, 31243 IW31245 uh, it is uh, produced or the develop uh, at the NGPRI that is National Bureau of the Plant Genetics and Research Institute uh, New Delhi and uh, it has releases the two strain of the Java Citronella that is uh, this uh, IW series then uh, next uh, varieties uh, in this category like uh, uh, CIMPA that is the uh, Central Institute of Medicinal and Aromatic Plants which produce the Bio 13, then the Manjusha, then Mandakini, all these are the varieties uh, which are used for the commercial, commercial cultivation. Then uh, it is commercially propagated by means of the slips. slips. Uh, the slip which we are uh, shown in the image given here and uh, uh, due to the irregularity in a meiosis, uh, viable seeds are uh, not actually mostly found and therefore it is only propagated by means of the slips, uh, which obtained by dividing the healthy mature um, clumps. Each slip should have the two to three tillers at the time of the planting trim fibrous roots and uh, leaves uh, near, uh, near about 0 0.05 hectares of one to four year old plantation is enough as a planting material uh, that is the slip for planting of the one hectare uh, of main field area then uh, regarding the um, uh, planting time uh, before the planting the properly land is to be the prepared just like the land uh, prepared by giving the fine tilth uh, with the help of plowing and uh, harrowing then incorporation of the FIM then uh, apply the mixture of the 2,4-D and other type of the insecticide, pesticide and uh, for um, uh, land layout into the uh, beds uh, with the irrigation channel and then follow the planting. So the best time in uh, June uh, to August during uh, the southwest monsoon, the spacing which we can adopt that is 60 by um, 60 centimeter requiring the 28,000 slips per hectare while when we can maintain the 60 by 90 centimeter then the plant population that is the 18,000 which we can maintain. Uh, we may use the beds or the ridges and furrow types of the layout in this uh, uh, crop as it is extremely sensitive to the water logging the planting is preferably done on the ridge and uh, irrigate immediately after the planting keep the soil moist for three to four weeks within which it get established and in this way um, the proper irrigation management at the time of the planting is again considered to be essential one then regarding the manuring and fertilizer recommendation in this uh, crop the well um, recommended dose of the fertilizer that is uh, 280 80 kg npk per hectare usually 8 to 10 tons of the compost or the fim mix with the 60 kg of the phosphorus and the 50 kg of the potash as per uh, per hectare uh, before the plantation and then uh, remaining nitrogen is applied into the four split doses at the interval of 25 to 30 days this is the commonly common type of the applications uh, of fertilizers uh, in uh, citronella grass then regarding the irrigation actually the java citronella when grown as irrigated crop require the 60 to 20 irrigation during dry spell at uh, 10 to 15 days interval and during the planting if there are no rains then the irrigation is provided within 24 hours 
it is grown as a rain fed crop in the high rainfall area also then uh, regarding the weeding during the initial development of the crop uh, near about up to 3 to 4 months after planting properly 3 to 4 weeding is necessary and the one weeding uh, per month after each harvest it is again considered to be effective to obtain the good herbal yield manual weeding or the weeding by running uh, cultivator it can be followed or uh, done in a citronella field in addition to the weeding the earthing practice is again essential one uh, and it is done up to the four month after planting and then once after the each harvest has a root work out of the soil and a good crop uh, stand we can op observe then uh, harvesting three cuttings may be obtained in the first year uh, commencing to the six month after the planting the leaf blade contain more oil than the sheath and hence harvesting is done near about 15 to 20 centimeter about the ground level optimum oil yield is obtained when the sixth leaf is well developed but after the one year the harvesting is needed at a 2.5 months interval and uh, crop is uh, economical up to the 4 to 5 year easily uh, so uh, at a one plantation it is um, enough for a 4 to 5 year production then regarding the yield in this category um, uh, the leaves or the herbal yield in a first year we obtain 25 to 30 tons per hectare per year while on the second year the yield is increased up to the 40 to 45 tons per hectare per year then regarding the oil recovery or the oil yield in a first year as per the herbal which we obtain near about 200 to 300 kg of the oil we can ex uh, obtain per hectare while in a second year it can goes up to the 320 to 450 kg per hectare oil um, uh, is extracted mostly by the steam distillation method and um, from herbage then uh, regarding the oil constitute uh, here the citronellol is a 30 to 45 percent geraniol is a 12 to 18 percent citronellol is 11 to 15 percent and the geranil that is acetate geranil acetate 3 to 8 percent so this is about the detailed cultivation practices uh, in a citronella thank you thank you very much